Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on Silica. Uh, today we are going to be jumping into um, another offline game because I need to so show you something. So if you are a commander for the human race and you are getting a little bit stuck on the larger maps for economy, uh, this video is going to be for you. And also I'm going to show um, both alien and human commanders a, a neat trick to uh, help you with your um, in-game camera controls. Now, um, this only works for the host of the game. They have to actually activate in-game for both commanders. So um, I will show you what I'm going to be doing in just a few moments. Let's jump into the game. Let's quickly start up a human versus human. What is this? Okay. Well, we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, we're going to go to the great ERG. I'm going to have a look at that actually off video. Um, right, so we're going to be jumping straight in. I haven't actually put a password on at the moment. So if someone joins, someone joins. It doesn't matter, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly expand your economy. And get yourself out there quickly. Especially for PvP scenarios as well. You'll, you'll end up finding that um, uh, the humans really struggle in the early game. Where aliens do actually get booming in the uh in the uh the early stages of a game as well so as you can currently see um the camera just rotates on a 90 degree angle um you can move left and right and it's quite smooth in movement now be aware that if you do uh, use this um this command it will put the camera in a bit of a momentum style camera with inertia but it makes it a lot smoother and a bit more like what an rts uh, feels like classical rts anyway so uh, ignore, ignore what the uh, what, what the commands are saying at the moment. So we're going to type in cheats. This activates cheats now. It's not just your standard cheats. It, it, there's different commands. If you type help, it actually shows you the commands that you can get. So you can spawn in units. Um, you can like change FPS, time scale, you know, display health, show damage, um, all that sort of stuff as well. But the thing we're looking for is the third one down from the top. It said it's called smooth commander. So we're going to type in smooth commander. And we're going to show you why it's so good. So it is slower, a bit of inertia, but the camera rotation is your classical, just normal rotation. And we're going to continue playing like that for the rest of the game. So we're going to keep our camera rotations as per normal. Now, with economy, we're going to quickly just locate a bit of Boltarium before I actually jump into a first person mode to try and locate what I'm going to be looking for. So as soon as I get that Boltarium, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be looking for and why it's so important to find these structures, the bunkers to be exact, to be able to expand your base quickly. Now, I have got a real feeling we're quite in a ditch. And um, if I locate some Boltarium up a hill, I'm going to cry. And I think I just did as well. So this is quite far up the hill. I'm not probably going to be here after this one. Let's have a look. Okay, we're going to have to just go with it. So let's get a refinery down. Um, hopefully, we can just find some other Baltarium and I can build up that hill to uh, to alleviate the poor pressure this harvester is going to have. Um, the AI will get in front of us, economy-wise, most likely. They've probably got a nicer bit of Baltarium than we have. But not all is lost. Like I said, not all is lost. The bunkers definitely help in-game. There we go. So we found some Baltarium over here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give the AI Harvester a choice. You go for the big one or you go for the other one. There's more Boltarium up here as well, which is on hill, but it's not as high as this hill. So we're going to get another refinery down here as well. I'll tell you what, we'll uh, have me build you. This is not the most ideal spawn that I'm uh, in. I'm not going to lie. I may just check what the other faction spawn is like. Just for the video itself. Um, let me just have a look. Oh god. It's, it, well, it's better, but it's not it's not great. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll continue with, with Sol. Um, he's probably ended up building another refinery at this rate, right? Or a barracks of some sort. No, no, he's left it as it is. Well done. Okay, cool. AI is doing well. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the commander take control of this base. Now, um, I will come back and reclaim control. Tell you what, let's get this one down here. Just for now. Right, okay, so we're going to send this quad back because I'm actually going to need this quad. So we're going to quickly whip the quad back to base. We're going to jump in the quad and we're going to go find some bunkers. 
Now, I can actually turn the AI off for my team. However, I won't do that. However, it is a very good uh, good thing to have, by the way, guys. If you don't like the AI taking control of your base, just open up the cheat menu. And then hit AI. And it toggles AI to disabled. Hit it again. Re-enables it. There we go. So, right. Let's go, player. Uh, God. Where have I spawned to? I can hear the buggy going away from me. There we go. So we've got hold of the buggy. Let's quickly get in that said buggy. And uh, let's go find some bunkers. We're actually going to go straight north. Here yeah, I can take control of all the other units and send them wherever they need to go as well. And unfortunately, the AI will be building the building because they're wasting money. So as soon as I do find a bunker and capture it, I will reclaim control of the base. I'll show you exactly what I mean for this bigger map to help the human race get up to speed with their economy. So I'm, the reason I'm continuing to check the map is because the bunker has a, a specific symbol. And it is a uh, symbol for the B inside of it. Allegedly. Go and try and locate one now. There's some bolt here to my right. You can see the crystals glistening in the desert. And I'm just checking to make sure the AI doesn't locate a bunker for me as they explore. So like the AI is telling me to go to that location. I'm going to carry on with my trajectory at the moment. This is a big old rock. And we found the Holton Whale Skeleton. I'd love to see it. Yeah, guys, hopefully that, that, uh, that camera helps the commanders out there for a bit of a smoother experience. If you're not a fan of the 90 degree sharp turns or the commander camera, there is another option. Volterium next to the uh, skeleton. Um, I don't actually see a bunker inside. Hmm. Now I did actually check before I started the video on this map to make sure there were bunkers. Um, I just played a little bit of Naraka City and filmed like 10 minutes worth. Didn't find a single bunker so I thought, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to move map and double check. So I did move map and I did check this map and there are bunkers. However, I'm going to actually prove myself wrong here, and they somehow disappeared. Never mind, I can see one from here actually, it's right there. Now, is it next to any Volturium? It seems to be a little bit next to some Volturium, so it is going to be a good bunker to have. So we're going to quickly claim the bunker, and we are actually going to be grabbing our commander straight away afterwards. So, claim the bunker in a buggy, do it as infantry or buggy, or uh, any vehicle to be exact. Um, you need to get to the entrance, so the entrance is going to be directly in the front of me. I'm going to get myself off these pebbles and not flip my uh, buggy. So I'm going to sit outside the door and it should come up with the activating. There we go, so it's going to be activated for at least 10 seconds. Now, what that will do is create almost like an outpost for us. Make sure it's activated. It'll go blue. There we go. So it's gone blue. We're going to jump straight back into Commander. Now, have we got money for it? We don't have money for it, but this me taking control has stopped the Commander spending money. So we're going to wait for the Harvesters to come home. Um, okay, this one's done. So this one should be able to get us a refinery. Uh, the bunker we just located is to the north here. Um, I'm actually going to send the quad back home. This is what we've located. Good stuff. I'm going to check the map in case the AI hasn't found another one. They haven't. This rifleman is running in the middle of the desert. We haven't located the uh, enemy AI just yet. Oh yeah, so another key as well is H. If you're struggling to see what's happening with health of your units, you hit H. And it actually gives you the HP of your uh, your units there. And it's also showing units of my scouts over there as well. So, uh, and buildings and bunkers and enemies. So it kind of acts as a bit of a hack as well. I wouldn't I wouldn't personally use it because then you can locate the enemy. 
And it uh, looks like the bunkers are all over there as well. But uh, we're going to ignore that for now. Same with biotics and uh, Balterium. It shows you where the deposits are. Um, I recommend not using it in online play. Just because it does kind of ruin the experience for yourself. Okay, so the harvester has docked. And he is going to be giving me some much needed money. We're going to jump over to this bunker now. In a second. So let's go to our headquarters. Let's go back. And we want to build a refinery. Wait, hold on. It's bugged out. Give me a second. Just sort this bug out quickly. Okay, there we go. Right. So, let's see if we can get this building down. There we go. So, not only have we got one Bolterium deposit, we've actually got a second one on this hill as well. So, we're actually going to get this refinery down. Um, we're going to put it... Yeah, we're going to put it that way. So, we get the refinery down. Now, that is an expansion expansion slot. So, we've got another base. Um, this rifleman's run out into the open. Looks like all the bunkers are actually next to the enemy AI. So, it's not going to be a very great video for me to show you. But, um, yeah, if you want to expand and you're afraid, like, uh, people have located your base. They're going to be attacking you within the minutes, you know that sort of nasty stuff then at least you've got yourself a secondary expansion where you can actually uh look to build yes yeah, very very much bugged let's let's get the barracks there we go now if i can get a barracks a bit up this hill that'd be great i haven't got any line of sight it's probably not helping so we'll wait for the building to be built hopefully it'll give us all never mind so we have actually got enemy ai inbound attacking but the bunker will almost open fire as well so it is a defensive structure by nature it will open fire and uh look to deal some damage to those infantry units now it's not doing a very good job i'm not gonna lie to you and uh they are sending a lot of enemies this way but i'm not too worried um early game human race um they can't really damage buildings like that it's only when you get later game when you get the explosions i think there's another bunker here yes yeah, so we've got a bunker right up this hill you can really see it just sat on the it's on the top, on the tip of the hill. We're going to grab it. We're going to claim it. And we're going to use it for an expansion. There's a lot of Bolterium just down here. A lot of it. Oh, a massive field right here. So, even though it's quite far away, it's still worth uh, grabbing these bunkers just for, uh, for the sake of uh, having an expansion. Okay, so the harvester is now ready to go. There he goes off on his adventures. Let's just check over here. Any bunkers? Nope. My quad. We can actually send them back over towards there. Um, my quad is here at the moment. Here, I'm going to pick that up again shortly. Exploring this way. I think we have the bunker now, and we can actually have a look. Let's just double check. I believe so. I believe it is ours. Bolterium here. Bolterium just around the corner. So that's going to be a nice place to be putting our refinery. So we're going to grab a refinery. Uh, hopefully, we can build it another bug again let me just correct that there we go oh well there you go look at that for a building spot so this bunker's got a bigger radius indeed and is allowing us to build in quite a few other places so uh i'm gonna build one here right next to this bolterium spot and we're gonna build a another one um here next to this bolterium spot as well there we go and we can even build a third if we decide to build a third um are we gonna build a third you know what why not? Let's build a third. So we've got three refineries on the go and one bunker. And a bunker's cleaned up this incoming attack there. Very good defensive structure. Now, the fact I'm building three massive refineries all in one location. Obviously, you're going to have to try and defend that location. However, early game is going to be absolutely booming for economy. And um, one, ref yeah, I mean, one refinery already gives you enough money as it is gives you a hefty amount of money you know having five well six technically i've got six now um having six in in total is just on another level like early game wise um yeah i mean the other ai i've got a feeling might already be economically sound because they had a really nice spawn and we had a pretty poor spawn but we can recover quite easily from this Just like their scouts are still attacking. My bunker's still opening fire. I, I, I'm pretty happy with uh, that bunker's able to defend itself and take down these infantry units. The infantry units are quite soft. And as you can see, they get dropped by that bunker. It's just a guy over here, which will also get killed off eventually. 
And the good thing about having these bunkers as well is, just, like I said, you can expand your building. So, as soon as we get a nice little cash injection, which will get a massive cash injection, to be honest with you. Not only have we got this 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 boy going to be returning home in a second, um, the light quad has arrived for backup, so that's good. And there we go. So, that's the enemy attack annihilated. Let's check the other harvesters. This boy's getting full. Uh, where is harvester number two? I think he's all the way over here. Yeah, he's gone up the hill. So he's decided to push over here, which is fine. There's no worries. This harvester here. Um, still trying to get out by the looks of things. What we're going to do is quickly click constantly on the refinery with that unit. It teleports him back in. That's a cheeky tip for you as well, human players. Um, if you're harvester is stuck now it is mostly fixed but it does happen still from time to time uh click, select your harvester and spam click the refinery it'll reset him back into the uh speaking of which this one's exactly the same this is this is great this is this is what we need you'll have to see it and you're just literally chilling doing nothing um what I, what i can do is, as well is if you find that um three light bulbs okay um, if you if you find that the AI so not the AI if, if the harvesters are not actually doing any work um, Quickly swap to, to player allow the AI take control because they can automatically um, within seconds Get the harvesters working once again But now we got 8,000 the refinery has done his job over here at expansion one uh, We are now good to go into mark two and uh, we're good to uh, start expanding. Let's get a light vehicle factory out I might actually build it here. You know, let's build it in this base I'm going to build it directly over here as an expansion. We're also going to build a barracks over there as well. This is where our uh, main training is going to be. Gotta go back. Got to grab the barracks. Make sure it's buildable. There it is. Uh, let's see where we can plant it. We don't want to plant it too far. Just, just because of um, the way this game works... Um, if you're a player, you actually spawn at your barracks eventually. So you want to be quite close to your vehicle just so they can grab a vehicle and go again if they were to die. Right. We are actually being attacked quite heavily here now at the uh, expansion. Which isn't going to be isn't great to be honest with you now. Um, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes the AI will have a nicer start than you or the enemy player will have a nicer start than you. Having an expansion early on helps with money and also just it, it's a deterrent to the enemy they, they're too busy concentrating on a sole refinery and a harvester when uh, they could be concentrating on your main base or concentrating on your bigger base which is still being built by the way but by doing this i am going to be economically sound as soon as the harvesters behave themselves which they are doing i think are you behaving yourself yet you're really trying to get some Volterra on you. you. You're just not using your brain enough, are you? Right, let's, let's push you over here. Get you on top of the hill, and then you can actually go mining, yeah? There we go. <laughs> Got him there in the end, and this one's doing 360s. Okay, so I don't think the harvest is actually doing what they're told properly. Um, so what we're going to quickly do is going to jump back into a three. Back into Commando. And hopefully, that's kind of cued the harvest to actually do some work. Gonna do some work. Please. For the sake of the video, don't do this in the game. Right, well, we're going to ignore this one for now. Let's have a look at the other one. He's literally stuck on a pebble. Oh, we, well, he is moving, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see the outcome. But I built these three refineries for the sole purpose of they're going to be able to get a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff. This quad, by the way. <laughs> This AI squad has been slaying everybody and he's about to get killed off by his own harvester. So please get away from the harvester and go and deal some damage to uh, to this squad. Yeah, this squad is on the level of AI. It's able just to annihilate all incoming uh, like squads there from the enemy team. This poor harvester literally can't move. It's quite unbelievable. Right, you don't work yet. Work? Please? Where are you going? Where are you going? There's literally Volterran right there, Mr. Harvester. I mean, you harvested 
about a centimeter boltarium and decided to uh go on your own little little travels i have no idea what the harvesters are doing here guys and uh this one is again just doing nothing love to see it the hq can handle any like quads inbound um as you see the help of that uh light quad is getting absolutely annihilated I swear every video I do as well, I just show the struggles of the harvesters. <laughs> Where are you going? Go back, harvester. Please. Listen to me. Give me money. This is whole this this whole video is about economy. Not about fighting harvesters to give me economy. And I've built so many of you. Stop, please. Behave yourselves. Just, just, just go back. Are you actually doing work now? Are you just chilling on the hill? Okay, he's doing work now. Let's go. Love to see it, right? We can actually go into defense mode here. We can actually grab our vehicles that have been built. Hold up! I didn't build these vehicles. Hello. I swear I didn't build these vehicles. Have I got like some sort of secret AI commanding my units? Surely not. Right. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna activate Mark Three. Okay, Harvest is doing the, doing the work, and you. Lower it down. You can do it. Right, he just deposited, so hopefully he'll go back to work now. We're gonna build a barracks here anyway they tend to spawn at either or so right okay so we're gonna get some light armored cars out we're gonna get some light quads out we're gonna start building military uh, we are being swarmed here by the way at this base um this harvester is pretty much my only harvester that's able to do anything um, he, i hope he's the positive I think he has. the light quads are tending their best defense the enemies actually reclaimed this bunker um that's not good we're actually going to try and grab that off them because it's a good defensive structure. And they got three scouts literally on my HQ right now. But again, buildings are pretty pretty buff against uh, any infantry apart from heavies. You just shouldn't have to worry about them. Okay, well, we've destroyed the bunker. Absolutely fine. We have got the expansion already built, so that's okay. So technology-wise, we're actually at a higher state than the AI already. The tech uh we're already at like the point of armored cars uh, we can actually build a heavy vehicle factory as well which i will do now go grab that quick building at the bottom expansion base we're gonna build it hopefully close to this barracks again there we go and i think we're almost at the point where we can actually take control and take the fight to the enemy ourselves This poor harvester is just not having the time of his life, is he? He's hating life right now. What, we what we'll try and do is get a tank built. And then we will uh, continue our endeavors to uh, take down the enemy. So we unfortunately lost our base there. We're going to send the harvester away now. It does happen. Let's have a look at the enemy's economy. So, yep, they only built their two refineries and they've only got a few little bits of Voltarium. There'll be, there'll be a point there where the enemy starts to run out of money. And this is why you should always expand to the bunker system and get your refineries built on other Voltarium deposits because of just the amount of money that's incoming. Now, these harvesters are working correctly. Uh, this ma this one is actually working as well. It's just being a bit slow. This one's full. And look at the look at the cash injection we're getting here. I mean, we're sitting at, what, over 8,000 now at the moment here. We've got the harvester here which is doing the reversing, but he's half full. Um, all riflemen inbound. This one's working. This one's full. We're going to have a massive cash injection. We're literally going to be able to go all the way up. Um, we're going to get maximum unlocks. We're going to be able to just go in straight into siege tanks at this rate very, very quickly. We're actually going to increase Mark 4 now. 
Uh, we're gonna get a radar station. Now, also, the AI tends to be a bit silly with what they build and what order they build. If you build more than one buildable object, for example, more than one barracks, uh, they only use the one for some reason. They never use more than one. I found that out with the, uh, with the AI aliens. I built like four or five spawning cysts. So it's always good to have a player in command of the faction uh, in a commander's view. I feel like this video is all over the place. Um, hopefully you guys do get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Despite me getting uh, um, harassed by the enemy AI, they seem to have stopped now. Uh, this harvester can literally go home. You, you can you can drive over here. It's fine. Do, do what you want. I'm happy with it. We're going to send these... Uh, these vehicles off to harass the enemy forces sucks that we lost the bunker because if we could have reclaimed it back we could have kept it as an expansion however um we unfortunately did lose it to incoming gunfire speaking of gunfire there was just a random buggy that just appeared out of nowhere and destroyed my buggy cool love to see it Definitely one thing I want, well, I, want, I would like to see implemented. I know the uh, bunker system is quite a cool feature early on into the development of the game. Um, carry all system, like in Dune. Having a, a buildable aircraft that will come and pick up your harvest and return it to its refinery. Uh, within a certain radius, I'd say. So, it wouldn't be like you could drop this harvester from one side of the map to the other. It would be in within a certain radius of that harvester. That, that would make the ultimate sense. But it would just speed up the whole economy for the human and also for the aliens as well. Maybe a later game economy. Now you've got shrimps and they do collect quite a lot. However, um, maybe having some sort of different economy um, type deal eventually. Right, okay. So we're actually going to start building stuff here. Um, let's now take control of our faction. Might just be able to teleport. Oh, we've got ourselves a player. Gonna say hello to him. Right, so we are gonna take control now. Let's uh I wonder how long has he been here actually he's on my side, so it's fine. Um Right, we're gonna use the teleporter to get ourselves around quickly. Uh it is in here. And we're gonna teleport to our expansion. Oh hold up. Wait a second, where are we? Here I believe is our expansion. <laughs> Please, don't be an open desert. Hey, right, okay. So we are where we need to be. Um, let's have a look at the builders. We are looking for our factories. And they are just over this ridge. It, it threw me out there because I've been rotating the camera in commander mode, so I've kind of lost where I was. I'm just going to let them know. There you go. Just let them know. I'm just recording a video. little bit of a run over the hill hopefully we'll be able to grab our hover tank or siege tank or something can't remember what i've queued up unfortunately here we go that's very humble scum if you watch this video back when i've uploaded it welcome in i'm glad you're enjoying the join the game I'm glad you are i'm really enjoying it myself What is this? Oh, what is this? What have I typed? What, what have I typed? Let me just try and rectify this. I have no idea what this is, guys. Oh, there we go. My God, that scared me. So that was I that brought that up. I think it's it's showing the AI's queue orders and stuff. Oh my God, it's tanky FPS. Like anything. Hold on, I'm in the wrong factory here. I'm at the light factory. I want to get to the heavy factory. Let me just do that quickly. Uh, we're going to ignore these uh, damage numbers that pop up here. Try and sort that out again. Find my factory. Uh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. I'm looking for my railgun tank. We like to get a railgun ASMR. 
me a rail gun. Right, okay. Right, let's get rid of these numbers. Uh, I was... That's I. That's H. That's HUD. The G. Um, what? Hold on, what? Hello? No way. Is that a feature? Oh my god. Right, okay. Um... I'm finding so many different things in this game nowadays that I have just no clue. Apparently, the F key takes me into a observer mode, like spectator mode. Um, and I've now gone back to my Jeep. This is so confusing right now, guys. I, I do apologize. This video is all about economy, and I'm just finding new things every time. Right. No! <laughs> Trying to, I'm trying to type to the man I can. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to have to leave it. Scum, if you watch this video back, mate, I do apologise. I did try to type into you, but um, it might actually be up to the cheese. Let me just turn the cheese off. It was. It was the cheese menu that was doing it. But that is a very interesting thing indeed. The uh, the, the free cam. You would never have known. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's finish this mission. Let's go and kill the enemy team. We built a massive economy. The AI is absolutely loving all this money it's getting now. And uh, we're taking our lovely rail tank ASMR over to the enemy. It is at 3,000 meters. I'm going to do some more talking head while we're while we're on our way. I'm pretty much the slowest tank in the game, apart from the siege tank. Um, yeah, I mean, even now I am discovering new things in this game as I play. Like I, like I said just then, um, hitting I in the cheat menu, it, it brings up the... It just shows you everything. It shows you what the AI is up to, what they're doing, the, the command orders, the just absolute insanity. And then the F key, bringing up the free cam. I was able to teleport myself into a quad as well that I had control of not long ago. Back to the railgun tank using the F key. I think it was a bit of a glitch there, but um, the free cam. Absolutely insane. Be great for cinematic shots. So I'm going to be using that a lot more. I'm going to make a video, actually, I think, on uh, like some sort of nighttime um, showcase in the free cam. That would be absolutely insane. And I'm, I'm going to see... I'll tell you what. I'm going to get you guys to do it. I'm going to get you guys to join me on a server. Uh, we're going to have two human factions going head to head. We're going to change the daytime in the cheat menu. And uh, we're going to go absolutely nuts with everything and just get all the light show going down. If that's something you'd like to see, guys, please let me down in, uh, let me know down in the description. Join the Discord. Uh, join the official Discord. I'll be looking for some guys to, uh, to play. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely getting on that. I <laughs> am uh, not, not close still. Still on our way. The enemy seems to have tanks of their own. They're actually attacking the main base. But uh, we're on our way to the enemy base. I'm sure the AI can handle this. Surely. They've got tanks in place as well. And uh, we're about to get a light show on our own. Oh, uh, looks like we have found a, an additional bunker, which I believe is actually under our control. Funny enough, it is indeed. So we found another bunker. Great to see. Uh, heavy quantity was fine. A eh? heavy unit one. There's a vehicle to my uh, exact left in this way. You can see him. I love the railgun tank. It's probably my favourite uh, looking and uh, just playable unit in general. It sounds good. It feels good. It's not too fast. It's pretty much a sniper vehicle. And uh, yeah, just the rail in general just sounds so good. I love it. Open the fire the defense there as well. I can kind of see where the enemy is, but it is a. Uh, I can't see him there. That black silhouette. Speaking of which, the vehicle right here. Boom. Very beautiful game indeed. Very interesting. 
So another thing you could do as well, because of the travel time with the vehicles at the moment, I know they're going to be looking to add other things in as well to help increase travel time. Um, the bunker systems will be very good for four operating bases. Um, this bunker, as you pass here, would be great to have like a barracks and a vehicle back beyond. Um, maybe get headquarters down as well if you can for defensive purposes. That thing can open fire. Um, I wouldn't suggest it against aliens, unfortunately. Aliens is going to be a little bit of a different scenario. But when you're going up against another human faction, then you're both kind of equal in your own standards. Um, yeah. It makes for some really fun competitive games. Um, if both uh, commanders from both factions of the human race knows exactly what they're doing. Might not even make it there at this rate, you know. It's gone over the hill. I was going to open up then, but uh, decided against it. We're going to continue our journey to the enemy base. It is becoming night time, so we're going to see some lovely light shows going on. Let's see if the uh, AI has built themselves a uh, siege factory, a heavy, an ultra heavy factory. Looks like we've got a rocket launcher system coming out. The harvesters are still doing their work. Um, looks like the harvester that was part of a. Uh, it's actually buggy running. So, part of the uh, one of the other bases is now just re arrived back home, so he's able to start working. And we are almost there. Very, very slow. I'm also glad that I found the, uh, the way to free cam without using the bug as well. Because that means we can get some nice looking uh, screenshots of uh, things in general. Which is still of battles and all that sort of stuff. Still 1,200 meters out. However, we have got a railgun tank which is literal sniper tank. So we can actually start hitting them as soon as we see the buildings. Now it is no siege tank. Speaking of siege tank, it has a siege tank shot. Oh okay, we've nailed that one. It sounded it well, it looked like a siege tank shot. It might not be. It is a siege tank shot. I don't see an ultra heavy vehicle factory on my side. Anyway, I found the enemy base. We can currently see some of the builders popping up now. We're going to start. I was going to say, we're going to start opening up. I just ran into a heavy armored car. This is probably going to get me killed. Oh, no. Driven all that way just to get shut down as I tried to go for their base. And that is the, uh, the loveliness of being in Silica. You don't know what's around that corner. You don't know what's around to kill you. But... Where have we spawned? We have spawned at HQ. Uh, let's let's take control of the AI again. Let's have a look at what the commander's up to. So, what has he been up to? Not built anything else as such. Have we got an ultra heavy vehicle factory yet? We don't. Seems to be queuing up other tanks, like quads. Nothing else more really. The harvesters seem to be not really doing much. I don't know if the AI has been throwing these harvesters into fits. I think they have been, which is not great. What's this harvester doing? Oh my god, AI, what are you doing to my economy? This is another reason why we don't trust the AI, guys. Because uh, you end up losing uh, a lot of your economy there. Due to just pure negligence from the AI itself. Just going to check how long I've been recording for. Not actually going to tell me. I feel like it's almost an hour now, but we're going to carry on just for just for a few more minutes. I mean, we are sending attacks towards the enemy. There's scum there having a firefight with uh, a hover tank, going after the enemies as well. Lovely jubbly. This harvester is how? How do you even get this stuck? There we go. <laughs> And why are you leaving? Go and deposit. What are you doing? Stop. Go to this one if you must. Please. 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 I need the money. I want to get this uh, siege tank factory going. Oh, hold on. 
I think he, no, he's not depositing. He was going to deposit. Oh, looks like Skirm, unfortunately, did die. Please. Come on, Harvester. In you get. There we go. You stay in there. You deposit that money. You give me money. There we go. Right, okay. We're going to send the troopers off. We're going to send the vehicles off. Uh, let's have a look here. So, we are just waiting for 6,000 for the Ultra Heavy Vehicle Factory. The AI is definitely paying for something. Unless that was a scum that picked up her weapon. No doubt. It might have been. Which is fine. Okay, so there's our pulse tank that we built. This harvester didn't didn't actually deposit anything. Oh my god, please, game. I think it might be because of this hill that's in the way. Tell you what, let's uh let's see if we can take control and send them over to this other refinery for depositing. There we go. We're gonna do that one. I should get some money in at least. Don't know where this harvester's gone. It could possibly be one of these two. Most likely it is. Oh my god, there's another one here. Oh, please, AI. You're, you're, you're killing me. How do you mess that up? Like, okay, teleport in. Right, okay, we got money, finally. But you can see why the necessity of having multiple refineries and harvesters is all about because you just can't trust them. You, you just can't trust the the AI to, to do anything, really. <laughs> uh, I say it the most nicest possible way as, as I can. You, you literally cannot trust the enemy. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I was going to build... I was actually going to build on this hill here where this bunker system is, but I kind of thinking I might not. But the siege tank will be able to get into the fight quicker. Ooh. Shall I task our friend here to defend... The refine uh, the uh, super heavy plant. We're gonna task gum. Let's see if he'll do it for us. There he is. The task him with defending. It is about halfway to the enemy base, so it would definitely help for uh, for expansion purposes, actually. We've got 9,000 now, so it looks like another harvester has delivered the goods, which is good to see. We'd love to see it. Now, because we got a lot of money, and we're still going up, so the harvesters are finally doing the jobs. We're going to build a headquarters here as well. I'm also going to build a refinery. If we can. Surely we can. Come on, game. You know you want to. Again, it could be just because of uh, not being able to see past here with the fog of war. We're going to send our vehicles over there. Uh, we're going to send the buggy. We're going to keep the tank here. There seems to be an enemy right here. An enemy scout. We've got a rocket launcher just on the crevice of the hill. And a heavy armored car inbound as well. So we've actually got enough to... Uh, To uh, siege the enemy base. We've got even more guys joining. Zulad at TTV has joined the enemy team. And they've got no money. I seem to have shown you what the AI is capable of doing. And that is unfortunately not expanding. Okay, so we've got now a uh, nicer look. What are you doing? Game, game, please. Please, game, please. There we go. I think it might be a bug to do uh, with the uh, smooth commander camera system. 
that could be causing that issue. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to build a refinery just yet. I'm going to have to wait for that building to go live. So it kind of pushes out the borders of this uh, expansion base a bit more. Um, looks like the headquarters will be done before the ultra heavy vehicle factory. Guys, if you stuck around for the video this long, you're an absolute legend. Um, yeah, just, just leave that like, subscribe. You know, leave some comments down below. Join the Discord. Join the official Silica Discord for some official games. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but uh, I'm planning to host Silica Sundays where we all get together and just play some fun games on Silica. Human versus human. Human versus human versus alien. Human versus alien. All sorts of servers. We're going to get going and just have an overall blast and overall bit of fun as well. We're going to get you guys controlling the harvesters. Uh, we're going to do some fun stuff as well. So it's going to be it's going to be one of those great Sundays where it's just for the community and we get things going. So we're just waiting for this HQ to build. It is literally almost there. Please speed up, Mr. HQ. Right, okay, so the HQ is now going live. Hopefully, it's going to expand the borders of this base. And um, if it doesn't, then I'm just going to cry. It does. There we go. Right, okay. Well, there's a Volterium deposit here, so it's fine. Right, so. The heavy vehicle factory is almost ready to get those siege tanks out. Looks like they've got their own ultra heavy vehicle factory as well, but I do believe they are. Yeah, they're slacking on money. Zulad's here already attacking this harvester with a uh, with a heavy unit. Oh God. And we are. Yeah, look, the harvesters are actually behaving themselves now, and they're delivering the funds. We are absolutely going to be just in the cash right now. We're going to spend some of this cash because we have got just too much of it now, to be honest. Too much cash. Too much cash, not enough buildings. <laughs> 21,000, by the way. Obviously, in a real in a real PvP scenario, that wouldn't be the case. You'd either be uh, defending your points, um, not losing, like, losing buildings... Things like that. I don't think I'm going to be able to build the heavy factory, which is fine. Looks like the super heavy is going down. I'm going to get a siege tanker queued up. I think the guys are pretty much going to be annihilating the uh, the enemy team. So we're going to get into the fight in a second, guys. Give you guys some action. Yeah, definitely don't forget to use this camera view. If you just want smoother camera visuals and stuff like that, then definitely utilize it. And our ultra heavy vehicle factory is up. We're going to get siege tanks queued up. We're going to get three queued up. We just expended all of our cash. We're going straight back to infantry. Very small. Original HQ? We have indeed. However, I do hear something tank right here? I feel there might be a tank right here, you know. Well, well, well. Look at this. Nice to see you, hover tank. How are you doing? Ooh. Right, so we're going to push on with the, uh, with the, the hover tank. Um, by the time we get there. We're just going to enjoy the whole hover tank goodness. Oh, also, guys, if you haven't actually known, the hover tank can plant itself into the ground. You hold Q, and it becomes a stationary emplacement. Look at that. It's actually landed itself. And it allows you to get more accurate shots on, on the enemy. 
case you didn't know. Not Q, sorry. Control. I don't know why I said Q. Um, it is control. You can see, like, the legs have gone down. It's like landing gear. Yeah. The more you know, guys. The more you know. And then if you want to fire her back up, just hold W. And uh, off you go again. The more you know. checking the look. I mean, that harvester is miles away. Uh, no wonder the uh, enemy AI has had a real struggle with getting anywhere in this round. I really... I could have uh, went over to that side and just helped out a little bit to make the, uh, the, the gameplay a little bit more interesting, but I didn't actually need to press that <laughs> to land my tank. Oh my god. Off we go again. Tank's almost ready. You can actually see gunfire going off through the sand dunes. It seems to be a visual bug. Coming to daytime now. We're just going to quickly grab the siege tank because I'm able to shoot shots across map to help end this game off. Speed of Siege Tank, there it is. Hello, big boy. Nice to see you. We'll take control of the Siege Tank and we'll pretty get into it. Nice and quiet. Which is able to shoot. But get back up again. Hit the space, uh, hit the forward and space bar, and the engines will fire off again. And then off we go. Or not. Right, 
so patch right to my left. As we're going away from the patch, the uh, the other base should be lowering itself. Obviously, unless we come across another patch of Polterium, and then obviously it will show up again regardless. A lovely sun rays going on here. I'm glad the guys have just joined and having a bit of a, a, bit of a blast against the enemy AI there. It's always good to see. I wonder what that, uh, what those yellow symbols are. Are they... Uh, players open and fire and it's, it's just one of the things I have enabled by mistake or what? But yeah. Looks like maybe take a water tank might be the better option. We'll be able to see them soon. Um, we'll use the infrared just to see if I can see any building silhouettes. I think there's one there. I'll just open fire on it just to see if it is. I think it might be, you know. Whether I hit it or not at this range is another question. I think I just missed it. Just missed it. Ultra Heavy Vehicle Factory, I think that is. Right at the back of the map. Oh yeah, look, Scum's saying even a little bit lower. Almost got it from this range. Do you want to know where your gun is currently facing? Is that little dot that's going up above my running gun? That's where my gun's currently facing. So it kind of gives you the aspect of where your tanks will be firing. So if I fire it now, it will hit the uh, heavy factory, despite me being uh, not actually aiming it. Here. the end of this game also i try and uh, every game i do start in silica i tend to try and finish it on, on video I'll, i will end up uh, ending videos earlier if i do feel that i'm at a standstill like in the alien vid for example um alien text vid not the text sorry the uh, the alien first look video i did end early because i felt like i spent too long in that game Uh, this one I feel like is going to be a bit longer than usual, but we have guys join us. Um, we wanted just to showcase, you know, guys coming in and having a bit of fun playing with what I've done and the economy that I've created. I mean, we've got another two siege tanks built already, I reckon. Before we end the end the game, we're actually going to uh, jump over to the commander and see how much money is left and how much money the AI has actually spent. We've spent okay, so we're going to abandon this siege tank now because this base is done for. Um, there's a siege tank here. Um, there's a bunch of other vehicles. We've got a bunch of units as well. Um, yeah. We're going to have a look. Let's have a look at the commander. Let's see what he's up to. So he's been spending the money. Spending the dollar. We've got another harvester in. This harvester is playing reversing. This harvester is currently uh, be mining this uh, spot of Volterium. This one's trying to go up this hill. This one has probably been here. It's half pretty much full. Let's have a look. This one's nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. This harvester. Again, the AI really sabotaging the economy of the game. However, look, we're up to 8,000 again already. Even so, if the AI seems to be sending harvesters off on another mission, um, you can guarantee at least one harvester will return home and get you that glorious money. If you're doing it yourself, then you're going to find you're going to get so much uh, in the way of economy versus uh, that's what that harvest is doing. I don't know what it's doing. It's literally halfway up a sand dune going for the smallest patch of Bolterium when there's a giant patch of Bolterium just there. Let's have a look. Let's see what the guys are up to. So 
we seem to be coming to the end of this video and the end of this game also the siege tank is going to be attacking the heavy vehicle factory just like quarters going after the infantryman uh this rocket launcher which i believe is under zulaz control it is indeed um he's going to be just opening fire on this refinery and this is going to be strawberry arc okay so we've got another highway probably on his own dear poor man himself um but yeah we will come to the end of this video guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe any tips down below in the chat and i hope you are enjoying silica just as much as i am there are bugs present but that is to be expected with an early access title um when you do buy an early access title you kind of get you know you, you pay for what you pay for a chance at you know playing a game in its early state you know it's not in release it's um kind of in its early beta stages i believe so um yeah without further ado guys thank you for joining me i think the game's about to come to the end whilst the siege tank destroys the final building which i believe is what one shot away from death um yeah i will see you in the next one we're gonna try and get some alien tips out for the next one um i need to play some more alien i've played too much human so i'm gonna be playing the alien for a little bit longer before i end up making a economy video on the alien i've seen some mad alien players out there um yeah see you in the next one guys peace